First time in more than a decade, the U.S. Supreme Court takes on a gun control case and rules in favor of gun rights. Rebecca Clough now going in depth on what this means for our state. Today is a disgraceful decision. Anger by some people over the Supreme Court's ruling against a New York gun law. But others, like Nick Clark, president of the gun advocacy group Wisconsin Choice, celebrated. It's something that we've hoped for for a long time. New York previously required people to obtain a permit to carry a gun outside of the home by proving they had a specific need. The Supreme Court today overturned it. It's the first time since 2008 the courts took up a major gun control case, and it comes in the wake of mass shootings in Buffalo and Uvalde, Texas. University of Wisconsin political science professor Howard Schwaber says this case should impact the entire country. The opinion didn't just strike down this New York law. It radically expanded the scope of the Second Amendment and actually it went even further than that and radically redescribed the way the Supreme Court will think about rights questions going forward. This decision doesn't change Wisconsin's concealed carry permit. Legally, no immediate impact, but I think it should have the impact as far as legislation. Clark says his group will continue to push state lawmakers to pass what's called constitutional carry, meaning people don't need a permit to carry a firearm. The NRA says 25 states fall under that. Professor Schwaber believes today's ruling could mean more challenges to the state law. Getting a license for concealed carry may be called into question. The Bruin decision opens the door to challenging things like restriction on guns in schools or on university campuses or in churches or in hospitals or in old age homes or in bars. Uh, or anywhere else you might want to think of. At the same time the Supreme Court made this ruling, Congress is taking up a bipartisan effort to implement new gun control safety measures. It's the first time they're doing this in decades. The bill they're voting on includes tougher background checks. Reporting outside the federal courthouse, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News.